about it's your boy Kebu Kebu TV on the MIC. It's a brand new day, it's a brand new beginning, and also we are starting gradually. This is Kebu Kebu TV, and today is Wednesday, the thirtieth day of October, twenty twenty-four. As October, I take over. Ask God to bring you home. Where His Excellency Doctor Lechama Oti, who make our country the capital of revolution, and also Gaga Logunda the State. Uh, I started a new another new project. This is our form erosion control, a form that connects between uh, between Ekotek Bene Road and also People's Road. Over the years, this uh, road construction, this road have been a death trap, have been a nightmare, have a uh, group of so many buildings, so many buildings, and so many landlords have also left their site and all on our way. So many buildings, even what you are seeing now, a gate, here will be like gates. Yes, you can see this is a pillar. These are some of the things on the Ogula. Uh, and uh, it has, these have been like this for ages. And uh, you know, I think when you have a main issue, the Sassanians have visited several. So, since the government have also found it so difficult to do something concerning the flight and auto condition of this road. But uh, today, I got an information that uh, uh, like three days ago, workers uh, 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 from the contractor have been mobilized and they have already started work at this very beautiful place. You can see they are pegging. You can see how they work. They go heavy the law clearing the site already. Heavy the law as you can see. So people get to as you know how it will be. So we're gonna show you different locations, different aspects and also different Area to this one. So stay tuned on WWTV for more. So uh, talking, uh, talking to residents and also seeing friends around these artists, people that have already lost hope, people that have been expecting for government to come to their rescue, but all to now, then today you will see them feeling excited, coming down in mass, coming down in their numbers to see what erosion have caused to this very community. So uh, moving out. Uh, you can see the type of lovely buildings uh, uh, that is around the ones that are still uh, coping, the ones that are still available, the ones that have not been cooked at uh, by this erosion. So, because we hear today, it been on Wednesday, the 30th day of October 2024. Look at the level of erosion that we see that is having here to the extent that people residents and also uh, individuals always come around this axis uh, converted this place to urban wood that you can see the environment so here are here in Eba today all fresh reports and people keep on even more just to do as we know just to do what we know how to do best just to report this environment report the ongoing uh, reconstruction of our bomb erosion sites that have been like this for a very very long time many many years ago yes they, this is all this started during the day during the reign of uh, president good dog jonathan uh, this road we are awarded uh, for through uh, through what do i call it uh, ecological funding ecological control for them to tie all these plates yeah, uh, through the office of the senator representing Abia South Central District. Yes. So our roads are almost completed. They have done they completed the drainages, they completed almost everything. You run a stone base. They couldn't be able to tie it. <laughs> Little did we know that the wars will be for the people living around this place. This is a video say cause for erosion. Group uh, Reway. Reway, uh, you can see the whole environment. You can see how the whole area looks. I'm so so happy. At least by the special race of we'll also be sending out our drone. I'm so so happy. I think we a tremendous change already. Look at houses that are yes. You can look at how houses how the area looks everywhere. Now look, next stop, people are tired. A lot, 
have happened in this very environment a lot has really really happened so i'm i'm one of the happiest men on earth to see that his excellency in his good will in his magnanimity in his good conscience have also remembered the people living around this axis so many people so many properties have all went down the drain shop story buildings and i believe to also take life if care is not taken here we have now here we have a mean new look at the level of erosion that have eaten up all this place so if possible we also be asking some question then he has a baby born i could put people's fence yeah you know, this is uh, a fence a baby will make a shape now now open a thread for now so uh a new dawn and here we feel the banana bubble this is a new dawn yeah. in our land this is a massive transformation this is a good one and i'm so so happy to witness this day so keep a dead on cable cable tv for more so uh what are we actually saying uh we are on duty you can see what uh, the situation of the what people are passing through just for them to access their their homes so many so many areas have already been grouped by this uh, erosion erosion challenge so many houses are already done that uh, the people of Aba not uh, local government have also marked so many buildings for uh, for for residents to vacate because of the condition of the place so you can see even the owner of this very building tried to uh, pump in so much money just to make sure that he guide his environment so that Kaolia Hapo Iba Iba Nawahala look at what they did look at all they did just to guide their property look at what is actually happening uh, today is one is the 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 the, the 12, 30th day of uh, October 2024 Kebu Kebu is reporting live from Abanos uh, local government of Vom Street uh, connecting Agowa by the left is Agowa and also by, uh, by the left is Agowa and also by the right is Arochuku Street where erosion over the years this uh, this has been like this close to 20 years have been have been causing mayhem yes causing nightmare and also a lot of a lot of big challenge so many buildings have already uh, I've, I've, I've already eaten up by this very massive erosion. But His Excellency is not uh, living, he, he's not he's not sleeping. He's not sleeping on the bicycle. He's already started work on this side. So stay tuned for more. I'm one as a Reverend Philip Oji, Assemblies of God, that is cited here in Ovum Street, 42 Ovum Street. I, I, I look excited. So what actually is happening? Can you never go to your mouth? When I see people wearing some type of uniform, I started rejoicing that the government have started work here. But I discover that it's a commentary that want to show the situation of this area. So I thank you for coming to see what we are seeing. Yeah, so in the last, uh, by your own experience, being somebody that have passed through the church in this axis, what can you be able to share just a little story concerning this very erosion? I want to tell you that people living in this area of Vom Street, which is a road that is that links to Ekote Ekpene Road by First Bank and connected uh, People's Road, very good access road that can also lead you to Ungwa Road. People here have suffered untold hardship and the terror when the government intervened and things began to do well to do well in this area we thought that this erosion would stop but it did not stop the members of this community did a lot of effort to stop the erosion but it passed their capacity and today two major access roads agowa street and um, arochuku street have been cut off if you see this building about six, uh, four families were living there when the problem started, they start. They were dis, uh, dis dislocated. 
even this one, they are already dislocated. And all the people living around here. So we believe that if the government come and intervene quickly, this experience will not continue next uh, year. So even the person here, the other day about two women fall inside this uh, ditch when they were trying to have uh, to pass through this place. Yeah. And they don't have other access road. For them to go to their house there, they will have to pass through what aside, people's road or whatever. So it becomes a very big problem to us. So I'm happy that this information is going on air and intervention will come as quick as possible. But are you aware that work, uh, that the, control, uh, people, uh, the contractors handling this budget are already on side? To be very there? frank, I, I congratulate our um, loving governor, the governor of Abia State, Alex Oti. He has come here severally and he had empathy and sympathy with us and the promise that work will start soon. In fact, I have heard and I've also seen that right down there from People's Road, they have started evacuating some rubbish to make sure that this place is taken care of. So I'm very much encouraged and I have faith in him and in his administration that this place will be taken care of in no distant time. And that will make him to be more valued by the people of Abia State. So in one minute, if you are given an opportunity to assess the performance of His Excellency Dr. Lep Shumaudi in his last 16 months in office, what will you say? <laughs> I will say he's a man that has the people at heart. He tackles the problem of the people. I have by myself seen many roads within this period, roads that have lingered for 20 years, and he has made them accessible. So this one is not going to be a big deal for him. Since he has stepped into this matter, it will be over very soon. So I thank him for his quick intervention. So I say, oh, dear man of God, what is your prayer? My prayer is that God will bless him, strengthen him, give him people that will support his work in the grassroots area. So, you know, sometimes the government may have a good heart, but there are people around him that may begin to walk him down. But that will not be his, his portion. The Lord will bless him and bless his government in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you sir. It's actually uh, how people uh, manage to get to their respective homes. Uh, so you can see, you can see even as a lady, as a woman, they, they have to climb fence like a monkey for them to assess. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, uh, yes. Even the building, the shop itself. This shop we are demolished for people to assess because now the shop now is on the verge of collapsing. So they have to bring it down so that people can be able to assess their homes. So we we'll also show you more. We are here to show the world, not only for the world to see what we are passing through, but also to see the level of intervention that His Excellency Dr. Leshoma Uti OFR have also bring on board within the last 16 months in office. But this thing has been like this for close to 20 years. As I told you guys, this project started during the ecological, ecological control system. Okay, present, good luck, brother Jonathan. No, as the president of Nigeria. So you can see, tenors have come and gone after good luck. Uh, Kevin goes out about that. Buare, Buare Achikwa for eight years. After Achikwa for eight years, you are poor. Tinibu, Abatakwa, you can see that Tinibu, Buare, and Achikwa is close to two years now. So this is a, what is obtainable. So this thing has been that the people have been suffering and what we call untold hardship. Then also, I will go so para para. Also, I was stressed. You connect here. It connect many roads. Before we turn connect here, people so and people so has also be completed by this administration. So also, can we connect here? Can we get a link here between uh, people's roads connecting it connect many road and also Ngwa roads. Oh boy, can help on cause or emelogu and all those areas. So Kuba and other people say that can a hindrance for them to access. So we'll keep on doing that and we'll keep on showing you more. Just say tune on cable cable TV. I get me, I get me more.